Tak, pojď se. Hi guys, welcome to the fifth match or fifth round of the Central European Championships and for this match I'm not here alone, I have here Lutska Kohutova who except uh, playing for the Czech Under-26 team is actually the main organizer in this event. Hi all and thank you Milan. Okay, and so uh, we are now watching the match in between the third and fourth team in the ranking. Uh, Croatia with um, Bosna and Herzegovina, I think, uh, in cooperation, they formed a team playing against the Polish under 18 team from Bialsko Biela. Okay, we will uh, introduce the players a bit later, but uh, we are already in between the bidding. So he started with one club for here. I believe that uh, East West will be playing Polish club uh, as it is normal for, for Polish players. South overcalled one spade. Will you overcall one spade? Uh, yes, probably non vulnerable. It's definitely okay. Uh, also because of the lead, because you have a strong preference for a spade lead. Well, I'm not sure. Normally, usually the opener declares, so same as it happens, you have to lead yourself. Um, well, I'm not sure. I think I would prefer a bit more two spades preempt, because south hand is actually quite weak of on defensive values. And two spades on a five card, good solitude, might... Um, help a little bit more okay anyway east west will go to three no trumps since west is having 14 high card points how about the play two five six seven eight and club towards the nine the finesse fails so actually they need to score one more and the one extra trick will be the jack of spades. That's a nightmare. When you lead the owner and you find out the third jack in the dummy, that's a nightmare. So I don't think that north-south can harm east-west at all. On the other table, three no trumps from east plus two. So they might just even save some imps for over tricks maybe. Well, definitely. If South jumps with the king, wait, the diamonds was not helping at all here. So now I think the game is over and it seems to be 11 tricks as well. No. Okay, wait, how many discards Declare has? He will probably establish one more club. So if South caches the top spade, there will be three tricks and plus imp to the Croatian Bosnian team. Okay, so let's check who are the players. So for Poland, it should be Jakub, who is also a uh, Captain written in the list and playing with uh, Wojciech. So that's for the Polish team and playing north is Matea Grguric and playing south on this table is Christian Stefanec. So these guys are from Croatia and we know Matea very well since uh, she's been working in the Czech Republic for some time. Yeah, and last uh, year she also played with Czech girls in the team uh, for the mm, first Central European Championships. So Czech players uh, know her very well too. Okay, two imps. Two imps for north-south here and we might just switch to the other table to introduce those players. And we have already an action again from south, but we see that uh, they have connection issues. So, will you introduce the Polish guys? So, for Polish, uh, we have uh, Mateusz, 
Mateusz Bakalarski and playing with Nord, uh, who is Maximilian. Okay, and playing East-West for the Bosnian and Herzegovina team on East, Ivuleta is Ivan Vuleta. Okay, so finally someone has the nickname similar to his name. And uh, on West, we have Emma Kurtovic playing here. One club south, Polish club, 11 balanced. Seems to me a little bit strange that South didn't open two clubs here. Maybe they are playing the two clubs as both majors. Yeah, it's possible because uh, in another match against uh, younger Polish uh, guys, they played two clubs uh, as opening with majors. So yeah, I, I like I like that. I like that very much. This is a good change to the Polish club, but it puts a little bit more pressure uh, on the one club opening, which suddenly has more options, so you need to have way more agreements. But I really like the two clubs opening as both majors preemptive. Okay, uh, Mateusz or what? What was Mateusz or Mateusz? Mateusz is back online, and it's his bid where partner bids two hearts, which seems to be like asking for a stopper with um, high card points, usually balance hand. <clears throat> East is bidding three clubs and here I really like the bid because the three clubs should show values plus the hard fit. It really depends on the agreements but I, I really like the bid. How about the hard contract for East West? One discard, losing two diamonds, one spade, and one heart, heart. and uh, they can rough, okay, they discard one, they need to rough three times. So I think three hearts will go down one, but we don't need to be worried about that since South bit three spades. Yeah, it's kind of aggressive bidding, but on the other hand, he has nice values. Expecting partner not to have anything in hearts. Well, if North is bidding, forcing to game, and suddenly in here, I guess three spades shouldn't be the hand with 18 plus hand. So, with having a weak no trump, usually the agreement should be uh, passing. So, I think by bidding three spades, the hand should actually show clubs and spades if they don't have the precision to clubs opening. And one more interesting thing that a uh, Croatian team uh, is actually playing for a under 26 category and uh, Poland uh, are playing for under 21 category, but uh, they are probably all uh, under 18. So it means these players are pretty young. Yeah, I remember those two teams who were here last year uh, to play the live tournament. And they came with two under 16 teams well with a little bit more but those two teams uh, were unbelievably good being at the age of 14 15 so right now it's no surprise to me that uh, they're actually in the top of the ranking at this moment yeah it's possible and i can share uh, the experience from playing against uh, poland uh, u15 actually even younger players and uh, I need to admit that it was uh, the fastest match so far <laughs> uh, which was a really nice surprise. Yeah it's definitely <laughs> different they have the coaches which play with them and uh, consult they have the coaching and they're playing so many boards that at the age of 15 they're already like <clears throat> full players you know they have so much experience and that's why they can play that fast for the contracts of free no trumps here, there's actually no hope. Defense will cash four hard tricks and two aces probably. So free no trumps going two down. And we might check the other table, which uh, reached free no trumps as well. Same start. Uh, they already score the ace of clubs, and this seems to be a push. Uh, let's have a look if South opens 
and self open one club yeah well I will open one club as well but then wouldn't be very happy that uh, North doubled one spade I didn't bid and suddenly North bid three no trumps I mean it's nice that you have 25 high card points but bridge is about tricks So I'm not sure if as North having only one stopper, knowing about a 9 card fit with opponents, you have a chance to have 9 tricks. Well possibly 5 clubs, 1 heart is 6, Ace King and Diamonds is 8. So you need the Queen of Diamonds or Ace of Spades or 6 clubs. Yeah I think that's reasonable. 6 clubs, Ace King and a Singleton Heart. And you have 9 tricks from top. Okay, so I agree with the free no trumps from North. I will do the same. Going down to. Okay, board number three. South passing. Would you open West? Well, yeah, being, I would. Being One, vulnerable, a bad suit. Four. Well, six losers only, even though spades are not that good, but but still six losers, it's it's worth opening. Yeah, I, I we agree have, like, here. Two, two defensive tricks. It's not say. like a great hand, uh, but normally you have a hand with seven losers. If West finds the spade fit, his hand is actually very good for a standard opening with six theoretical losers sometimes it might be even having extras if you find a good fit and for example two small hearts in partner's hand you suddenly can make a game opposite ace king fourth in spades and nothing else so you can make a game on 18 high card points here if you find a good fit Okay, but uh, West decided to pass uh, South Statement and asking for a full card major, probably Invitational. And West doubled to get the lead. Unfortunately for East West, their clubs are blocked. But East has the entry with Ace of Diamonds. But anyway, how about the agreements of North South after the statement is doubled? Do you have an agreement? Well, it depends <laughs> with with which players actually, but uh, mostly we try to just be natural. But in general, I I would like to have uh, agreements like uh, redouble uh, showing some points or some values in clubs to have the option actually to play uh, even two clubs, and after that, like uh, if. Uh, if not passes, then two diamonds, like restatement, let's say. <laughs> yeah, I like redouble from both sides to be for penalties. Because what I have seen, players are doubling two clubs crazy. Yeah, sometimes they, uh, they just try to figure out uh, if their opponents have agreements. <laughs> yeah, well... So it's kind of psycho. And I know that double. I might be on the on the other uh, side of the barrier, but uh, because I prefer redouble from both sides to be penalties, I prefer that pass is showing a stopper because that gives more options to redouble for penalties, and bidding is uh, without a stopper. Yes, exactly. Okay. Anyway, uh, North bids two spades, having both four card majors. East bit three clubs and south three diamonds is showing probably diamonds and hearts and invitational hand. Suddenly with north I would be feeling well I have a super maximum. If partner is having five diamonds and we have a guaranteed heart fit, I'll just jump to four hearts with the north hand. But south felt okay. So obviously he might have some agreements. Bidding spades in front of hearts this way might show extras. 
Really questionable if these players have those agreements. Okay, so two clubs losers, uh, one diamond loser, and unfortunately a diamond rough beats the contract. Let's see if East-West will manage to get the rough. Well, we will see, but as North showed the spades, then probably West will feel pretty comfortable to play diamond after cashing two clubs. Agree, because if North is having the ace of diamonds, I think that there is no way that you can beat the contract. Unless East is having both spade honor and hard honor, which is impossible. West having 11 counts, Dummy is having 8, that's 19, so 21 for North and East, which means that East should have maximum 6 high, six high card points. So actually it can be king of spades and king of hearts, it can be. Yeah, but if your partner has king of hearts, then you still have time for roughing diamond. Exactly, and also partner might have the ace of hearts as the only value, and then you will get the diamond rough as well. Now the question is, how about the count? North opens a no trump, so he shouldn't have a small singleton. Maybe if North discards the 10, maybe sometimes you might open a no trump with singleton honor. But anyway, cashing the second round of clubs seems pretty natural here. Yeah. Here we go. And from East, I would prefer the 5 if they play the second fourth. And here comes the 3. And my style, this will show a 4 card, not a 5 card. So if you play the second four, and I prefer to lead top from three small, and then if you have three small, you lead the top, and then the second highest. If you have four, you might lead the second, and then the fourth. If you have five, you lead the second, and then the fourth. This way, it's a combination of showing uh, with the first lead attitude, I have an honor, or I don't have an honor, and with the second card, you just uh, show the actual count. Yeah, and here comes the diamond, so it seems that this contract is going one down. Yeah, so well done. We might check another table. Well done for the Polish. Other table playing only in two hearts. And what about the bidding? Okay, one spade by West. See, this is what changes the bidding. One spade opening. Uh, North passes with having Ace King Jack. Maybe one of Trump could have been good enough. But then East bid one of Trump, passed two clubs by West, and now North doubled to finding a 4 4 fit in hearts and didn't race. So good decision to find five M's. Just like that. Good decision not to bid one of Trump in this particular board. But in general, you might lose. Uh, you might lose many imps because here it was kind of bad luck that diamonds uh, split for one. Well, yeah, that's true. But if someone usually opens weak, then uh, they might have a shortness. But I agree. I wouldn't regret to be in the game on this one. But it's kind of fifty-fifty. Sometimes you will lose five. Sometimes you will lose six. So, in the long run, it will be probably around zero. Okay, North opening a spade, South found the bids. What do you think? Will you bid with South hand? North, South playing Polish club here. Most likely, if they are not playing natural, because some Polish do. And if one spade is just up to 17, I will just pass a south, yeah, definitely. since it's not generating a lot of tricks. You don't want to overbid. Okay, here comes the second round double by east, giving the preference to hearts and clubs. I don't think that west is now feeling comfortable. Pass will be kind of a disaster here. One diamond, two clubs. One heart, so two diamonds is making, maybe even with an over trick. Two hearts is the best bid. And 
Yeah, well, two no trumps with nine terrible points. I don't envy. Okay, good decision to bid the lowest bid possible here. Finding the five card heart. Yeah, I in think it was, hand. it was kind of expectable to see two hearts. Yeah, two spades, which I think South will correct to three diamonds. And we might see an interesting card play. Because that contract is really on the edge. It will depend if East will actually catch the clubs or not. Because North needs to rough one spade. And if he plays two rounds, well, he might dump a club. So we will see. I think three diamonds makes. How about two spades? Losing a spade, heart, two clubs and a diamond. So two spades seems to be good as well. If you guess the ace king win clubs, that's the key point at this board. But in two spades, hard hard shortening north. Yeah, that would be tough. But I believe we might expect a club lead from east, as the west is actually under pressure with bidding two hearts. Then it might be dangerous to lead. Yeah, but when you lead the ace of clubs, you might have still enough time. So Ace of Clubs and then you see the dummy, so you catch the Ace of Hearts and start shortening uh, north because you actually know what is the heart distribution after this bidding and seeing the dummy. Is that too late already? I guess it is. Roughing, drawing three rounds, well not even drawing, drawing two rounds and playing the club uh, will secure the contract with eight tricks. Yeah, but you need to probably establish the club soon enough, so East doesn't have. More okay, so South decided to pass. I think uh, that's a smart decision. Just don't push to one level higher. You are undoubled with such a weak hand, and North can actually have six four. Yeah, and there's the Ace of Clubs as lead. Well, I hope that all the matches uh, are set up here, since uh, Lutska is helping with the communication in between the teams. Since there are that many players, uh, there is a certainty that there will be issues uh, with the playings being online, misspelling uh, the nicknames, starting the matches on time. So we hope everything is fine. How about the other table? Two spades by North after the Ace of Clubs. Okay, everything is good, perfect. And we have three hearts by East. Okay, how this contract will end up. North already scored four tricks. And what was the bidding? Did East bid immediately? Yeah, that's yeah. that's the thing. One spade, two hearts. Well, I totally agree. I mean, what more do you want than ace and ace king? Seven theoretical losers. Enough for a second level overcall. One trick short for the third level overcall. Okay, here we go. Diamonds gets, but Free Hearts is already going one down. Now this gets roughed, cashing the trumps and the clubs. So Free Hearts down one. So this might be a tie if two spades will make. Yeah, we'll get back to that table to see the next board starting. In here, Ace of Hearts cashed the Queen. And switched back to a club, but South went up with the Queen. Well done. 
Well done by the declarer. So there shouldn't be more issues in making this contract. Yeah, well, you need to dug one round of diamonds here because that's the trick number eight, I guess. You have to establish it or no. You have four spade tricks, one club is five, two diamonds is seven. So you really need to establish a diamond trick before you lose the trump control. Now here we got the double from East, so I think uh, it was better to play a low diamond towards the King, because East already showed two spades, I don't think that, well, can he have a 4 for four, 1? No, he already showed two spades, so 4-4-3-2, four, four, securing a positive 5-5, five, five. yeah, well, it seems that the diamonds the diamonds break, but I think I will play a diamond towards the king and duck the second round of diamonds. Since the honor will come out, then, well, you're good. Oh, wait. No, but the diamonds are good, yeah. Diamond guard are good and North is having still two trumps. Yeah, pity for the set diamond seven. I mean, on this board, it was possible to get the beer card because the contract is making it's not trumps and you actually have to unblock with diamonds, so not an easy one to get. But I guess Polish under 18 are not that experienced in getting the beer cards yet. Okay, here we go. And a tie. So let's see what was the bidding on the other table. Four spades by West. So we will enjoy the bidding and uh, the other one. But one spade loser, no heart, no club. One diamond loser. Because the other one might go away on the heart. But actually it will get roughed in the third round. So, so good like good diamonds. defense far by north south to keep four spades on just making 19 yeah. opposite seven and can we see the bidding actually because it seems like it was ace of diamonds lead immediately no i think uh, yeah, the lead was, was from, from north, north. Okay. so the three of diamonds towards the ace and now the two two of diamonds back and declare is now thinking if to take the finesse or not one club Polish, one spade, two no trumps, 18, 19. Maybe one club actually kind of semi natural, like Nash system, where one club is starting from two. Yeah, so probably here east has like or west has no chances in general but it is probably better to play the king and try to uh, try to discard one diamond on a heart so i expect like three rounds of hearts playing right now yeah me too but that will be roughed by north let's see two no trumps opening by east immediately um, transfer and I guess three four spades so this seems to be a push or just one M swing yeah well that's the question because here uh, the deck lure is east so actually South needs to find uh, the lead of diamond true that's the only lead which actually keeps the contract only at 10 tricks good point So this might be actually a swing for Croatian team. Yeah, well, tightening the match 5 to 3. Well, still, this is a low cost. So far, we had a couple of low cost matches. The last one was 
really exciting that every board was a swing or a potential big swing. Yeah, standard Queen of Clubs lead, uh, which should actually make it quite easy to make uh, 11 tricks. Yeah, and actually as Ace of Space is with North, uh, then there are no issues in guessing diamonds. If the East of, East of Space is in South, then it might be problematic to guess diamonds if there is a lead of small. But here there shouldn't be any issues. Yeah, but still probably the contract isn't secured yet, because you need to guess the diamonds, right? So you need to probably play a diamond to the king. Yeah, true. Good point. You can dump one diamond, but uh, if north-south will not open the diamond suit themselves, you have to do it on your own. So I agree. Yeah, so here it seems like East, or actually West, didn't even try to discard a diamond, if I can see right. And he immediately tried to cash some spades, which didn't work out because Nord jumped with the Ace of Spades and cashed the Queen of Diamonds. Which is kind of surprising to me, because it really seems that West didn't even try to discard his loser. Yeah, but here, yeah, here it came to claim just made. Yeah, but the, the table? but we uh, we got back to the table where they cashed two diamond tricks, so we're expecting the plus one or just made on the other table. Okay, uh, multi two diamonds. Well, I have seen better hands, which didn't open multi. This hand vulnerable did. Okay. Eight losers, no ace. Doubleton's bad suit. Would he open week two? With his hand. Well, we know that you are uh, you are a coward. Oh, well, I would I would open multi, especially playing you will? with yeah, especially with juniors when I. They just open multi with everything, so... So, don't just do what the juniors are doing. Do what is right. Do what, what is bridge and what you might expect. I mean, preempting and vulnerable against not, it's crazy. And overbidding to free spades after this opening will be very costly. That's 5 plus imps. And we have seen a lot of part, score, part scores here in the previous matches which went two down for actually seven or eight imps, which is a huge for part scores. And I agree for West to try for free no trumps, although he's new that Parton has spades. So I don't know. I think that I might just go with uh, two spades pass or correct and want to play a game in heart, but not in spades. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the issue of opening uh, with e sent is actually that partner very often might have five cards in hearts and then you definitely want to play a hard contract. On the other hand, he might have a singleton uh, spade, as it is right here, and then the partner just wouldn't expect East to have third king in another major. So they might even miss vulnerable yeah. game in hearts. I don't mind opening weak. But there has to be an agreement and West need to expect what is the maximum and what is the minimum with East for opening week two vulnerable against not. And if you are not on the same page and have the wild range, then you will most likely not get this right. Yeah, that's true. I kind of see the way how juniors uh, use these kind of openings. It's kind of pressure game. It's not like showing what they have, but only 
push so, opponents to do something. So what do you think? Is this that just the age or is it the lack of coaching and not getting the ideas? Yeah, I, I believe it's bridge education kind of because this just came with time and actually when I spend some more time with other people and even older not only juniors then I kind of changed my style a bit so I don't do this very often these days only if I play with juniors because they expect these biddings to be normal so then I can't show like six cards in major. Oh, well done. Okay, so the free heart transfer bid to show the spades shows the minimum hand and then West decides to stay in free spades, not going free no trumps, which will be a disaster on this board. Free spades has a chance to make, losing a spade heart and two diamonds. So we'll see. Is there any threat? I'm not seeing any. Well, maybe the entry to the east hand to draw the trumps. So you have to get the entry of playing a heart towards the king, not with roughing the third club, because no can north can rough with the ten and establish two trump tricks to beat the contract. Yeah, I agree what what you said. Well, when I was a junior, well, which is not like that long time ago but still it's already well a couple of years well actually 11 already uh, then we didn't have such education that people were not telling us what to do and what is what is the right way we just got the description of the system and if the multi says 6 to 11 then i think having seven high card points that's already having extra right it's not just bare six, seven, it's seven. And this is what, what I hope will change, but uh, it needs to get some time and the proper coaching for the hand evaluation to find out what is right and what is not, what fills the criteria and where you need to adjust a little bit. Okay, well done. Declare find uh, the entry. So it's and can like... cash three rounds. So three spades making, two mm -hmm. spades plus one in the other room. We have another push. Yeah, and I can see actually the previous bird that I kind of miscounted because I believe there's a way uh, to go down from four spades, but it was just about over tricks. Because even with losing two diamonds, then you lose only one more spade, so that's all. So we maybe made this board a little bit more interesting <laughs> than it really was. No, oh, well, we were, we knew that this that was about uh, the over trick, and I'm just checking uh, what was the card play, drawing the trumps, cashing the hearts. Well, first blocking the spades, which was definitely not a good idea. Trying to find the rough and misguessing diamonds at the end on the previous boards. Playing the diamond towards the jack, uh, which is definitely okay. And well, board so seven. Far, so far, no swing boards actually. Oh wait, not even that. Okay, Declare even didn't try. He thought that his four heart became the winner. Unfortunately, it didn't. So miscounting hearts there. So Declare had no chance to winning 11 tricks because he didn't play diamonds at all. Yeah, and what do you think about a double from north, north in this position? Being vulnerable and partner past hand. With having only jacks and queens, ah, uh, not really. Well, I would expect way more defensive values uh, for North doubling vulnerable when partner is a past hand. Yeah, and from South here, I expect at least invitational bidding actually, which might be already too high. You know, if you are doubling with me and I'm having the south hand, you will not stop me bidding a game. Then, yeah. <laughs>
There is, there is no chance, but well, okay, uh, you might because I have a doubleton heart and I'm expecting you to have a doubleton heart as well. Um, so, yeah, I will be still thinking to make a game on a 4 free spade fit. <laughs> okay, so let's see how, how the bidding will develop here. Well, first thing is... Uh, how high will East bid with hearts? So only two. So now that's a question. Oh, I mean, okay, that's double. absolutely fine to raise only to two hearts. Double by South. Should deny four spades and sh shows just values. Yeah. So now North bids two spades, which I'm not sure. Well, maybe uh, since North should guess the South distribution having three hearts. I think free clubs might be a better bid from north. And passing two no trumps seems a little bit to me like lack of imagination uh, of the south bidding. But again, you know, this this is me talking here with 26 years of experience and teaching bridge and just relaxing here, enjoying commenting and not having the stress playing the cards. And also seeing all four hands. Yeah, that's true, but still, you know that your partner has only two if, hearts. If you have that agreement one. that double denies four card spades, it must have five three minors or four four minors. So then it might be better to play in a four four fit. Because your spades are too weak to play on a four three fit. Yeah, that's true. I believe the two spades bit is actually kind of, let's say, escape from unpleasant situation when you doubled and now you try yeah. to stay low. Yeah, hoping to get <laughs> not doubled. Yeah, exactly. And to stay as low as possible, bidding the suit where we don't have the fit so partner doesn't get crazy. Um, okay, well, the hard lead was not the best here, but well, what can you do? Partner raises and opponents were doubling. Yeah, well, but interesting thing is that actually there was a lead of low heart and not yeah. the queen, so... Well, queen, jack, fifth. Pardon having free, the queen is a little bit safer. Nice explanation of the double, zero to three spades. So see that there is actually an agreement that uh, the double on two hearts denies four spades. So, thank you, uh, who is it there? Thank you, Christian, for confirming. So it also confirms that Matteo just tried to stay low <laughs> with bidding two spades. <laughs> yeah, I double and uh, I, will, I will let partner decide. And then, well, partner doubles to let me decide. Okay, I don't want to. So I just I just pick the nearest bit possible. Okay, diamond to the ace. I'm probably trying to play some spades. Unfortunately for east west, uh, well diamonds are blocked, but now they have the hearts established. So it's two, four, five, six tricks already. And declare has only seven. Yeah, and Is now right? actually uh, he had a tough situation because he didn't have kind of good discard because he blocked his clubs actually, so he couldn't discard a club. But it didn't matter at all. Yeah. Less. Down yeah. one were three clubs one, two, three, four. Well, three clubs will probably go down as well. But we will see what will happen on the other table. We might just quickly check uh, what's the contract, two hearts by West. So we will see uh, if there will be a swing or not. Let's get the bidding uh, here and one club, again like a natural style or Polish club. Here we go. 12 to 14 or 18 to 20. So that's actually a Nash system, what is called in Poland, which is kind of the longer minor, so natural style, not not Polish club. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm actually wondering what system, uh, what systems are played by players from under 26 category from Poland, because as we could see, that probably under uh, 18 and under 15 or 16 are playing just natural, and also with two clubs majors. Yeah, well, it really depends where are you from and what coaches you have. But uh, the older players still uh, place the Polish club style. It's uh, now changing more that uh, for the beginners, they might tend to teach the natural style just to be sure that they are capable to partner or understand the other teams since uh, this style is kind of taught the worldwide and becoming like a standard standard approach standard system two arts obviously made on the other table to have another push and we might be seeing something not usual for a junior match is that really that the score will stay 5-2 with just only two swings yeah it's definitely possible I can also share one experience from the first match when uh, under 26 Czech team played against uh, under 21 uh, team from the Czech Republic, where actually only one player uh, is older than 16 years, others are still under 16. And uh, the match actually uh, ended with the score 4 to 3 imps. Yeah, well, we have, we have seen that. Uh, it was here on the stream but i think there were several there were some swings yeah there were some swingy balls over tricks that's true uh and even uh one slam which was possible to beat which might be swingy too making or <laughs> oh wow slam, uh, look but... at this board so declare has four club tricks if he guesses right and only ace king ace king in the red suits but now, okay, well, he guessed right by playing a low club towards the queen. But now, north-south can score three diamond tricks, club and the spade ace. So three no trumps seems to go down. Well, diamonds aren't established yet. Yeah, well, now they are. Now they are. And Mata did well that... Uh, since Declare didn't try to play the Jag and just won with the Ace, she already knew the distribution. And it seems the game is over because North-South has the communication in Diamonds. So they just shouldn't both discard a heart. Yeah, we'll see. So Matja has to discard three times. And actually, she can kind of safe, safely discard three spades. Yeah, by having the jack, well, it's not safely discarding three spades. You cannot discard the jack. Because then you don't know who has the king of spades and who has the ace of spades. And if you just switch it around, declare, uh, if you discard three spades, declare can cross to the dummy with ace of hearts and run the queen of spades. Getting the sure finesse for nine tricks. So actually, two spade discards are fine, but now... And see, South already discarded hard, and that's a mistake. Putting North under enormous pressure here on the right discard. And North cannot discard a heart. Well done. Well done by discarding a spade. But I mean, why a South? The first discard should be encouraging in space. But I guess this is the way where you play an odd even discard. And you are trying to signal spades with discarding a heart, which is a key card, which you cannot discard. That's why I hate this style of carding. You just have to discard the suit, which you must discard. Come on. Well, luckily, Nor figured that out and didn't make a mistake here. But it was close. We're playing just natural, direct discards, low is encouraging or high is encouraging. South can just discard the two of spades and the seven of spades. The two showing partner, I have a trick in spades, don't worry. Keep the hearts. 
where eight of hearts is saying what? Well, I don't have hearts, better keep them, but I'm not sure if I'm having spades. So better keep the jack of spades as well. <laughs> Yeah, so it's question uh, what the contract will be on our table. Well, probably three no trumps, but this uh, positioning might be crucial. But here we can see three no trumps. Yeah, but uh, in here we see that East actually stole a spade trick. Playing a low spade towards the king, which won. And now Declare has nine tricks. So a big swing to the Croatian... Bosnian and Herzegovina team. South fell asleep, not jumping with the ace on the second seat and cash the diamonds where we already should know that the defense can cash three diamonds. And this might be the lack of experience and kudos to the declarer who had the guts and knew that he has to steal a trick. Yeah, that's true. But it's it's not that easy position actually for South because he couldn't see the West hand. So he doesn't know he has kind of four. It doesn't matter. If partner leads the four tricks. of diamonds, which is one with ace, and then partner plays the three of diamonds, you know North is having five diamonds. So if you can count that North already won the trick with clubs, you will have three spade tricks and he just win the ace and cash your fifth trick being the last board of the match this is yeah. what you just have to do yeah but probably you only saw uh one one diamond like only the lead no because... no you saw you saw already two rounds because the diamonds were established once north got to the trick with the ace of clubs he played the second round of yeah, diamonds and do you think actually clubs were played before spades i believe that no West no uh, yeah clubs were played play. before the spades okay then if not, that's a different question. Yeah, then it was definitely a mistake. Yeah. Well, a very tough 11 getting the win of 13 to 5 and important whippies to the table. So let's have a look first before we try to search uh, for the other matches. Let's uh, have a look for the actual ranking and the two leading teams check under 21 which we saw last round is leading by almost a VP in front of Poland under 26 tried hard try hard version well obviously that works uh, this team Polish uh, Bialsko Biala 2 being third with five whippies ahead of Croatia but I think now they lost the lead or it will be pretty close by losing yeah, by a couple of imps it's probable and then we have the other other teams uh the rank will change because we are now only in the middle of the swiss swiss rounds so let's check if we have some other s teams still playing okay let's cross to the running here we go. Here is my team. Come on, guys, make me make me proud. Okay, I'm trying to click. So there are ten kibitzers, so that's one point what why to be proud. <laughs> Some people are watching your kids. Yeah, but well, I don't know why I cannot join. Okay, I'm the director, so actually uh I think I can just uh, see the scores. Team match boards not, f not find. Obviously, I'm a terrible director. Adjust score. Cancel tournaments. Yeah, well, one miss click can ruin everything. But why cannot I join? Okay, I can join the other team where. Poland under 25 is beating Russia 20 to 2. And we have an interesting board here. Again, like 6 5. Vulnerable bidding, bidding a multi, weak multi. 
I just don't like these multi openings with a two seater because how is East West getting to find out they have ten card fit in clubs? I mean there's no way to find that five clubs should make relatively easily. Sorry, five diamonds, not five clubs. Well five clubs probably as well. Uh six clubs, sorry. Six yeah. clubs. I'm kind of wondering what actually two major opening is because it's definitely better if you want to open something, then uh, better than two diamonds multi, it might be like two hearts, two suitor, with probably five five in these vulnerabilities. Yeah, agree. Okay, so four spades from west, double from north, thinking, okay, <laughs> I have five spades towards the king. Well, and now that's the question. But he, might, probably... he might be surprised to score just one spade trick and one club trick and one diamond trick. Uh, for four spades for minus 790 uh, when you have relatively uh, easy no is that easy yeah it, it's easy contract and six clubs you just need to play the club finesse uh, roughing the hearts if you play clubs from south eh, oh no that's not true six clubs is down after a spade lead rough and hard rough back so there is a way to beat six hearts. Yeah. So this but board it... is definitely interesting. It's good to be here. Yeah, well. Other table, three spades from west doubled down two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see well... the let's see the history how they played. So I was just thinking that four spades might be making, but maybe north south can shorten west down. Yeah, well, one one thing is actually leading a club and cashing the ace of diamonds. So four spades doubled. But still there are no entries to partner's hand. Well, see, we see that this was an interesting match, having two 10M swings. So it was also club to the queen, club ace, yeah, yeah. shortening dummy one time. Ace of spades. Which will be probably shortened another time. Uh, well, And diamonds. nine of spades. Now north failed to win the king. And now diamonds toward the king. So shortening one times. And losing the tempo. Yeah, you will probably lose tempo because they will shorten uh, twice the declarer. So then you, you are losing the control. Yeah, but still four spades can go only two down. Uh, Declare made a mistake and try to go, I don't know, for less. So you just need to start playing diamonds as soon as possible on the other table they did. But North failed to win the second round of spades, where on this table they just won it. So here we go. Trying to draw the spades means that they go only, mo they go more down, right? Three. Four, five, six. Yeah, you are probably losing everything yeah. after that. Yeah, you are now scoring only... Well, it actually depends. South has to play a club. Yeah, and North, North needs to discard his diamond. And that's it. Four down. Where I thought that this might be making. It's not making. This is how bad... If the spades split 4-2 then you will have one round tempo to make four spades where if they break 5-1 you are going four down i mean of four tricks <laughs> one trump difference four tricks and actually 12 imps on this one this can go for 1100 where six clubs is making and five diamonds is making both tables were playing in spades well, I believe that uh, if East opens two hearts as hard and a minor, I guess that West will expect partner to have hearts and clubs, but then he should be very careful by bidding his spades on the third or fourth level. Yeah, that's true. And this was actually very helpful to Russian team. Because suddenly from 18 in plus, it's only six in plus for now. And the match is not over yet. Yeah, okay, so we get the scores 
and 34 for the bad guys. Sorry to the team Hungary, but they're, they're bad guys. 20 imps! I think that was the most what I saw and today. One no no one hard redoubled plus four. Where the other table played four hearts undoubled minus one. 20 imps! I mean that's a lesson. Not to let one trick redoubled. What happened? So North opened one heart, East doubled, South redoubled, West, the most experienced player, just passed. Partner, I have no bid. I think that should be one spade. Yeah, definitely. Because you have surely a preference from the other three suits. Uh, but East, being a non experienced player, uh, just let one heart redoubled play. And, well, it end up. Losing 20 imps. Okay. Well. I want to say shit happens. But yeah, actually, it, it kind of uh, brings a question to my mind. What is the worst score that you have ever lost? Yeah, to, to be imps? honest, I don't, I don't remember. But I know that my worst uh, boards, based on imps, uh, was losing around 30 imps where you just made a bad lead give away the seven uh, seven trump trick doubled making instead of going down where other table uh, just managed to play six so instead of winning uh, like 16 or 17 you lose 18 or something like that so that are usually the most expensive mistakes there. But on one board, yeah, well, I don't know. Usually it's around 20, but it's, it's a long time since I was a uh, junior and getting crazy scores. Yeah, well, I can remember it pretty well. It was minus 21 or 22, not, not sure. But I can pretty well remember the contracts. It was six clubs doubled. On one table from our from our opponents just made and on the other table four spades doubled plus two <laughs> which kind of uh, in specific vulnerabilities just did it <laughs> yeah uh, another interesting board here uh, where east west uh, so the Hungarian players found six spades one spade from east uh, two diamonds with West, two spades rebid, probably as a minimum, three spades raise, three of Trump's partner, I'm at balanced, Qubit, Qubit, asking for key cards, uh, showing probably one, and well, okay, partner, so let's play only six, I guess. And the card play seems pretty straightforward, where you just uh, establish the diamonds. Well, not really. That you must be careful. Okay, hard lead. You must be careful about entries, actually. Yeah, hard lead makes it difficult. So hard duck to the king, and hard back. Okay, so that made it that made it actually easy. Pity that Peter didn't find a different switch. Well, a club switch would be good because uh, it just takes uh, one entry away that you need to actually for establishing diamonds. Yeah, actually, uh, not just establishing the diamonds, because on diamonds you will discard the heart, but you as well need to rough the club. But you will have the ace of hearts, so I think you have enough entries. So by making, actually in this point, by playing a club, you win with the ace, play a diamond, diamond, diamond rough. Now you can over rough. You play... Even the spade towards the king, diamond rough, rough the spade, draw the trumps, and now you have the entry with the ace of hearts. So six spades is making anyway, but it will be way more difficult to, to make. And we know that once you give opponents a chance to screw up, that might be 11 imps the other side, because uh, the other table just played four spades, made 11 tricks. Okay, anything happened here? Uh, not that much, so we might uh, have a look well, if there are some other matches. 
There could have been another swing because yeah. another table played two no trumps plus two, and there it was three no trump contract. So okay, probably two no trump plus two, and here North South is playing three no. Okay. So probably even some more imps for Russia. Which Five, means like six, two club is eight, and Ace of Hearts is nine. So North South already have nine tricks. That's true. Four twenty is nine imps. If they don't make an over trick, yeah, which would mean that actually they got from uh two twenty to twenty three to twenty, which is kind of amazing, within t two boards. Yeah. Probably po Polish girls will be set. Well, uh, Polish. Whoa! Well, it happens to the Polish girls again. Well, in the previous match, I was commenting. Polish ladies were down 31-0 after four boards and they could have win that match by a margin. Unfortunately, they missed one board uh, where opponents gave them a chance and at the end they lost, by, but only by eight imps. So, yeah, it's like an on the roller coaster. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down and here it comes an extra imp. So finesse for making an over trick or not. He had to make a finesse, so I probably miscounted the tricks. Because I was not sure if that trick was already played. So he had to make a finesse to make nine. Okay. My bad. So again, nine imps. And Russia is taking the lead. So we might look at the last board. Four hearts from West on the other table so we just have a look uh, one spade loser uh, one club loser and one diamond loser so i think in here straightforward straightforward but if they reach the game yeah that's one point and another point might be there might be probably defense with four spades or five diamonds you're losing one club two hearts and one spade yeah, true. Four spades probably goes only one down, but I don't or think maybe, that maybe two because uh, you might lose diamond traps. Yeah, I don't think that uh, north or south can actually enter the bidding and find this kind of incredible defense. They might get a diamond rough, probably two diamond roughs. So actually, four spades might be uh, down three for five hundred yeah. if the defense will start with diamonds and get two roughs. That's true. But as there was no chance to enter the bidding, then it will be probably tie. We'll see. Asking for help in clubs? Well, I think East has some help Definitely. in clubs. Okay, and that's it, guys, for this match. I think this will be, this will be a tie. And congrats to uh, Russian team beating the Polish champions. For the next match and we will see we're waiting for the next match which actually starts at 330 at 330 what it is 310 okay so we need we need a break we need a break see you in the next round see you